Hello everyone, Daisy here again with another layout for Make Paper Art. Today I'm using the Lots of Dots background um, cut file to create kind of a stencil. And I'm using some cardstock that I have, and it's in a brown color that I not really sure if I would use it anyway, so I figured it would make a great stencil. Now I'm using some of the Shimmers um, pasties, and I this is in Raspberry Sherbet, and then I'm mixing in some pink stiletto to make it kind of a richer pink color and not so like hot, uh, hot pink, I guess. I'm not sure if that's really what I'm trying to say, but um, anyway, and then I'm just using... Um, my spatula and smushing it through the, the stencil. A couple of the pieces had broken off when I pulled it off my mat so it didn't, um, they kind of get stuck in the texture piece. But um, And then I just added a little bit of spray over the texture piece as well. And then I'm letting that background dry and I'm choosing some papers here to work with and I'm using all of these um, papers from the, is it the Alexis or Addison? Hold on just a second. Okay, it's from Bella Boulevard. I'm sorry for the crinkles. It's from the Addison collection. And I am using this paper here that on the background it has a bunch of border strips and I'm just ripping or tearing a um, piece of paper to go on one side. And then I'm using the 12 by 12 sticker sheet um, for the other side here and using one of these um, border stickers. And then I'm going to add a little piece of ripped paper and um, some letters and some other stickers. Now if you haven't already, you should head on over to Facebook and jo join the Make Paper Art um, Facebook group. You get to see when there's sales going on and when the new cut files are coming out, which they come out quite often, so you definitely want to head on over there and join that. Um, sorry if I'm repeating myself at all. This is like my 50th time trying to do this voiceover. There was, I don't know, something kept going wrong and I kept getting errors um, on my video when I tried to upload it to YouTube on the day it was due. And so I decided to scrap the whole thing and start over um, by downloading them from my phone again and then redoing the voiceover yet again. So. I apologize if I have um, repeat repeated anything here. So I'm still just working on, you know, a few embellishments and everything. This layout, um, you can kind of see up at the top left there, is about my youngest daughter when she was learning to hula hoop. Um, we were at the farmer's market, and there is a woman in our town who sells like fitness hula hoops and so she would bring them to the farmers market and set up on a corner and um, have a whole bunch of them that you could practice with and so that was always one of our favorite places to stop and I have tons of pictures and videos of everybody using hula hoops so it's lots of fun and here I'm just using these letter stickers um, off of the Addison sticker sheet And I'm just titling this hula hoop, so not, you know, super exciting. And then I'm just waiting because my uh, background is still wet and I didn't want to, like, make a huge mess because you know how that can go. So here I came back and my um, texture paste is dry, so I'm just going to adhere down this uh, strip of paper over on the side here. And then I did reprint my pictures while I was waiting for it to dry. I had print them, printed them on some matte photo paper and it just, the colors weren't standing up enough to this background. So I figured I would print them out on um, my Canon selfie on some actual photo paper and I like it a lot better. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it also allowed me to kind of crop out some of the, um, what was going on in the background as well. And I decided to do two. The first one is of her holding the hula hoops up and then dropping them because that's what she thought she had to do was just drop them and that they would spin around on their way down. So it was, you know, a lot of fun learning. I decided to use this um, black cardstock kind of scraps to back my photos 
just to help them pop off a little bit more because the background is very busy. Both that paper and my um, mixed media there are both pretty busy and so I just wanted to make sure that they really popped off really well. So I'm going to pop them up on some fun foam too just to give them you know, some added dimension. And then I'm going to start embellishing. Now my title is going to be that um, die cut piece that says, uh, I think it says like, OMG, so cute OMG is what it says, <coughs> excuse me, and I adhere that right to the photos because there was some kind of dead space over there, so I just put them over there. I had some of these tabs pulled off of the sticker sheet, um, and I think a couple of them came out of the die cut pack, and I just layered those up. I'm adding a few stickers. Um, that little sticker there says, so cute. And now I'm going to add some sequins, and these are Spiegel Mom Scrap Sequins and Aerial Tail. I'm not sure if they're still available in the shop. But if you're looking to buy one of these cut files, they make awesome stencils um, as well as just cut files. Um, you should head on over to the Make Paper Art Etsy shop. You can always use my code DAISY10 for 10% off um, your next purchase. And like I said, you should head on over and join the Facebook group because you don't want to miss out on the sales that go on and getting sneak peeks on the new um, cut files. And Amanda also does take um, requests. She tries to work them into her plans. So if you have something you've been itching for, you can always ask and she might be able to create something. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time. Bye!